Hey everyone, I'm doing an action figure review on Thunderbird. This figure was made in 1998 by Marvel Toy Biz. It came in a set of X-Men action figures. I don't have the set. I actually bought this guy loose. I've seen him hover around the $15 to $19 range on eBay. And I got him for a buy it now for $8, so I jumped on it. Uh, this figure is just over 5 inches tall. 6 if you count the eagle feathers on top. He's not one of the more famous X-Men, but he's one of my favorite ones. I really like this figure. It's kind of a little bit old school with the hip joints, as you can tell. They just move forward and back, but all around the paint quality on this figure, I think it's awesome. Maybe not the paint, but the design. Got the Thunderbird logo on his back, and his chest. The headband, the hair. I just think he was a really well-designed figure. Uh, he moves his joints. Got the knee joint ankle joint. His wrists and hands don't move but he does bend at the elbow. Moves at the shoulder but when you move, open the shoulder joints up you can see the the joint mechanism inside. See? <laughs> A little tacky. Could be deodorant stains. <laughs> but it's on the back too. When you bend his arms forward and you see the joint mechanism. The, the designs on his arms here are plastic and his boots, but they look pretty cool. I like this look. Got armbands. I don't think he came with any accessories or not. But paint wise, I just I like the way this guy's drawn up. You gotta pose him just right so that those shoulder joints don't show. That looks kinda cheesy a little bit. But for a visual example of how he looks in the comics, I have the classic X-Men number three storms on the cover. And if you look inside, there's Thunderbird. And he looks pretty cool. I think he looks almost dead on. I'll try and hold that straight. This is one of my favorite older X-Men figures. He's not a you know, big popular one, but I think I definitely recommend him. If you pose him with your Marvel Legends set, you probably want to have him a little distant maybe because sending this guy up next to a Legends character, he's going to be dwarfed a little bit. Um, I recommend anyone getting this comic book. Here's a little spoiler on it though. In this, um, he actually dies in this issue. I don't know if they brought him back. They probably have, but or somebody else, I don't know. On the back is, there's him, and I guess his spirit being hugged by his brother. It's the funeral. But it was kind of dumb how he died. It was the plane crashing, and he was trying to attack the bad guy and make sure he went down with the plane. But he could have easily jumped off and rode with Banshee and got away safely, but he didn't. He followed the plane down, so. But that was kind of a cheesy way to have him killed off. But again, they probably brought him back. I'm not sure, but I'm just rating the action figure, which I think is really cool. So if you're a fan of the X-Men, or the classic line from the old school a little bit, you definitely should get this guy. He looks pretty sweet. So, not a lot of Native American superheroes, and this guy's pretty cool. So, I hope you guys check out my other action figure reviews, and thanks for your time.